Okay, so here's our micro heavy water thorium nitrate reactor. And uh, I had one gram in there, and I thought I measured a bubble on my bubble detector. I'm pretty sure I will look back at the video. I'm pretty sure I did. And then I put, it, put another gram in there. Actually, I put it into a different bottle. I transferred it. It was easier to dissolve the, the thorium nitrate that way. And I have not been able to get another bubble. I was thinking maybe it was because of the temperature. Maybe the radon gas has to build up inside. But anyway, now here is some rings of beryllium. And beryllium is a great neutron reflector. And so if there's neutrons coming off of this thing, if I put it inside this uh, beryllium cell, it will reflect a lot of them back into our little reactor. And why don't we, since we got our bubble detector, and these are only good for a few months, Let's take some more measurements. Okay. So we'll make sure there's no bubbles in this one because I one of them got a bubble and I recompressed it. I think this one's good to go though. Okay, let me let me just look at it cl closer. Make sure I can use this one. Okay, so I think it looks good and the directions say never grab onto the plastic thing when you're uncompressing it. So we'll grab onto the metal part and unscrew it here. Okay. And I just put it, this on the back so I don't lose it. And you know what I might want to do is we have our. There. Let's see how we're going to do this. I'll just put the. Uh, thorium reactor right next to it and so we will have our bubble detector and our uh, micro thorium reactor in this in this uh, beryllium reflecting cell and I'm starting this about what 930 at night so I'll have to uh, check for bubbles tomorrow at about the same time and we'll see if the uh, beryllium reflector helps with this uh, nuclear reaction. Reflects some of the neutrons back in so we get more flux into uh, our bubble detector. Should be interesting. Okay. Okay, just checking on this morning. It looks like I can definitely see a bubble forming in there. And we're only about halfway through our time. Possibly a second bubble up higher. Very interesting. I'll let it complete, and then we'll we'll see um, how this uh, uh, microthorium reactor goes with the uh, beryllium reflector around it. Okay. Okay. So we've been running our uh, microthorium uh, reactor with heavy water, two grams of th uh, thorium nitrate, and. Um, our beryllium reflector here, reflector rings, with our bubble detector, neutron bubble detector, and I think I see several different bubbles in here. So let's uh, let's just put this under the light, and we'll examine this a little bit better. There. So I see definitely a uh, very big one right there, and another big one there. It looks like there's another small bubble right there. And uh, let me look at it a little bit more. Uh, so anyway, I count at least one, two, three bubbles in there. And look around and see if there's any more, but this is definitely way better with the reflector than without it. So two very large bubbles and another third bubble starting to form. So three bubbles here. One, two, three. Okay. I thought I might have saw another one, but I think it's just an imperfection in the plastic. So, putting the reflector here, 
around our uh, thorium reactor, the beryllium reflector, definitely uh, increases the output. And uh, that's about more than three times what we're getting without this because right after I changed the water, it, it was not producing any bubbles. Okay, so our micro thorium reactor with beryllium reflectors. Very interesting, huh? Let me uh, put the detector away and uh, we'll get ready for some other experiments, hopefully. Okay, watch the bubbles disappear as I compress it. Okay, there we go. And I'll st I guess it takes a little while for them to completely go away. And they recommend always storing it in this container. It has a uh, O-ring seal on the end of it to keep it pressurized. Okay, and anyway, very interesting. This is Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.